Okay, hi, um, my name is Sean Babis, and I will be taking you through various tutorials with Sony Vegas, and this is my first one, so I really don't know how to talk, and I probably sound like the biggest weirdo. Okay, oh, um, hopefully you know pretty much about Sony Vegas if you're going to use these tutorials. Um, over here you have the, uh, Explorer, that's where your files are. I have lots of files, whatnot. Um, you have your project media, these are like various files that you'll use. Um, transitions, you can do a lot with these. And I generally use like um, this part of the program, uh, video effects for my transitions. And you have m media generators. Um, okay, so we are going to start off, and I have a clip. Uh, already and everything. Um, there it is, some buildings. I really didn't know what to, what clips to use. Um, okay, so um, we're going to use this clip for this tutorial. Um, today we're going to learn a little uh, thing called the uh, cookie cutter, and this can be used a whole bunch of videos. Um, I'm not going to take you too in-depth today, but I'm just going to get you the basics, and if this is a good success thing, I guess I can make more tutorials about it and you can ask me more questions. Um, Alright, so basically the cookie cutter tool is cuts out various parts of your video and you can uh, modify it in, in a bunch of ways. So, what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to go to video effects right here and I'm going to scroll down to cookie cutter I'm going to be brought to this screen. Um, you, your window might be like this, it might be like this, have it about here, or, or however you want it, I don't care, you're editing, I'm not, yeah. Um, select the, um, square center white border. Oh, so you can look here, I'm gonna grab this square center white border, and place it on the clip. Like so. So I'll let you go do that. Okay. Um, so basically after you did that, you should have literally a square with the white border. Um, one of the basic things to do with this is to uh, change the aspect ratio of the video. So to do this, you're basically doing something called masking, and you're just cutting out parts of the video to make it appear wider or whatnot. So you're going to click on the... I'm sorry you're gonna click here on that you should be have been brought to the window if not just click at that little like thing on the clip and this window is gonna pop up and it's gonna show you like various things feather border repeat X repeat Y I want you to set border all the way down to zero so just drag that and set your X value to all the way to 10 now you can see in my video right here that a large portion of the screen has been cut off. Basically what you can do now is you can fool around and actually choose whatever aspect ratio you want. You can bring it up, make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Eventually when it gets really small, it'll like start going in a little smaller boxes, so don't want to do that wide. You probably generally my videos are like about that or so, so I do cut off some some of my video to make it the aspect ratio that is. Um you can also fool around, make it, um, you can play with the feather, which basically it makes the, um, top and bottom a little, like, fade out, so if you set that all the way, it's probably going to go all black, and then you have to increase the size, and then you can get, like, a cool feathered effect right there, this, but yeah, you can play around with that, whatnot, and then, if you're done playing with that, you can take the feather off, and, um, you can also fool around, you can take the X value all the way down, and then you have the and you can set the Y. And then you can play around like that. And pretty much, yes. You can play around with the border. I don't really do this, but you can do that, play around with it. Over here you have your colors, you can make it green or blue. Blue, pink, where's red, red, whatever, white, black, 
whatever. Um, that's pretty much that. Okay, the uh, this next part of my tutorial, I'm gonna walk in, walk you through basically just some basics what you can do with two layers of video with this. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the clip that you selected to apply this effect on and copy it. You can go Control C or you can go Edit Copy, whatever, and then you can just paste it move it up to the track above and make sure it's right in line or else this will just look weird. Um, then after you do that you're gonna have the same effect and I want you to play around with it so why don't we decrease this X value increase the Y voila look what you have there you can fool around with stuff like that you can do a bunch of stuff actually you can throw a border and this is an effect that you see in a lot of my videos you can do various things like this and you can I don't know make it smaller whatnot go like this Woo. and then you can also choose the shape of it for a lot of my effects you can do a rectangle I usually have the border about point two there you go you have that rectangle effect and then it what happens is, as you increase the size, um, you still have the remainder of the video right here that was being cut away from this, but you're choosing a different selection on this layer. And both layers are appearing at the same time. So you can fool around with that. Now, what I want you to see is that this right here is being cut off, and this is completely cutting away this video right here. So if we take this down, we have this part of the video, but as we see this part of the video, it completely covers it up. So what we should be able to do is we can apply an effect to only this region of the video. So let's try to go to um, your video effects and let's try a just simple black and white effect. So uh, have in mind that your uh, video right here is this track. So I want you to take the 100% black and white drag it over to the bottom clip there you go so you can see what happened now is the region right here had the effect applied to it but this region didn't and then you can fool around and then you can do various things and you can have just one layer selected and have that green and you can you can just fool around with it do a whole bunch of stuff and then I guess now we can get into basics with keyframing with this. So, um, this square right here is relating to this video because this video is still in full color. So, basically, we can try a keyframe which um, is applying an effect and you can make it gradually change over a period of time. Um, in the video effects window, you have all your uh, data and you can like choose the numbers and whatnot. And then down here, there's a little track that you can uh, click on. If you double click at the very end, you're going to... One of my friends is calling me. Let me get this call. What's up? Pretty good. I do where we were. Oh yeah, we were keyframes, right? So, what? No. Oh. Okay. Um, so we have keyframes. So we double clicked at the end of the track and basically that's representing where the video is so we obviously can't say anything because it's the very end and it's just black empty space space Ooh. so let's just go to like about near the end and then we can see it now basically as we click on here um, we're editing this part of the video so let's um, over here you can choose like where the position is of that box or however you want to do the effect whatever it may be you can play around with it like here it can gradually go into that or whatever. I'm going to make it move to over here and probably increase the size just a little bit so that during uh, and we can X this out during the whole duration of the clip it's going to gradually move from there to there. So we'll play this see what it looks like. Okay and that's the um, my first Vegas tutorial and I still have no idea how I need to do this. And hopefully you enjoyed it. It's the basics. I know. Um, I'll get to more soon and whatnot. Yes! Nice.